Okay, ideal gas law with a FET. So we have an on-demand paper which you should have in front of you. So right now, I'm gonna, you know, kind of screen share both or attempt to do this anyway. Um, so right here, you've got step one. And you've got the formula. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna, remember how we used to do like up arrows and down arrows? So, and like horizontal arrows above. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna manipulate this FET and we're gonna analyze the formula. So I'm gonna be going back and forth, unfortunately. So there's a lot of clicking, so bear with me. Okay, so I'm gonna put the FET up here. So I'm gonna hit stop share. Yes, I don't know what I'm doing with these screen shares, but I'm doing my best. Okay. Okay. So right here, we've done this before with, uh, not this one, but something similar with Boyle's Law, Charles Law, way back in the day. Okay. So I'm going to pump in just a given amount of air particles, just like that. Okay. And right now, volume will be controlled by this handle over here. Temperature is controlled down here. And then temperature will change as a result up here. This will get be fire or ice. Pressure is measured over here. Pressure is measured by collisions. And the number of molecules, the N quantity, is how much I pumped in. So I guess I pumped in about 300 gas particles. Don't worry about heavy versus light. We're not going to get too crazy, okay? So again, pressure is determined by the number of collisions, outward collisions against the container. The only way I could change the number is open this up, and I'm not going to at this point, okay? So right now, nothing is constant, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to decrease the volume. So step one, I want you in that first formula. So I'm gonna hit stop share. Then I'm gonna go back to this document. So what I'd like you to do is put a down arrow next to volume. Put a down arrow here. The N and R are going to be the same. So down, down, and down, okay? So we're gonna see what happens to temperature and pressure as a result, okay? So we're just gonna decrease the volume. All right, so we're gonna stop screen share. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to decrease the volume. Here we go, Let's see what happens. You think, what do you think will happen? If I decrease the volume, what could happen? Think for a second. Okay, watch. So I cut in half. So we had a 35.6 pressure of atmospheres. So the pressure went up. Temperature stayed the same. Notice the temperature stayed the same. Okay, so when you take a look at that, obviously right here, the pressure went up, the, vo the volume went down. Temperature stayed the same. This is an idea of Boyle's Law. So when you look at PV equals NRT, the number of molecules was the same, the R value is the same, the temperature was the same. So if you look at PV equals NRT, PV on one side, let's say has a certain value, it always has to equal the right side. So if I decrease the volume, the pressure had to go up on the other side. Because if NRT is the same, if one went down, the other one had to go up, okay? So let's take a look at the next example. Let's throw in another 300 particles, or we'll see how many come in there. Put in a little more, about 300, okay? So now let's say nothing's constant, and now let's decide to, let's then, let's, let's change, let's mess with temperature. Let's increase the temperature. What do you think will happen if we increase the temperature? I'm not gonna touch anything else. So your first pressure is at 38, give or take, temperature's at 300. Let's increase the temperature. So they're gonna have an up arrow next to temperature, okay? The R value is going to be the same. The N value is gonna be the same. Let's see what happens to pressure and volume if anything changes. So increase the temperature. Temperature's going up, pressure's going up, but the volume is staying the same. Temperature's going up, pressure's going up, the volume is staying the same, okay. So, when you take a look at that sheet, right there, I'm gonna go back here. So on the next formula thing right here, the temperature went up. So you put an up arrow here, same, same. So if this went up, somehow this is gonna go up. So if this goes up, like these two sides, I mean, look at it, it's almost me saying two equals two. 10 equals 10, 100 equals 100, PV equals NRT. 
Don't let the letters throw you off. So N and R are constant. So if this went up, how should this go up? Well, we looked at the data, the volume stayed the same. So the pressure went up. So if you remember, temperature and pressure directly related. Okay, so if temperature went up, so did the pressure at the same rate. Okay, all right, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at the Fed again. Okay, so now let's reset. Let's go to about 300 particles. Perfect, I can do it this way, even better. Okay, 300 particles. And now I've got, again, let them collide a little bit about 35 atmospheres, okay? So now, let's see. What if I then decide to decrease the pressure? What if I were to decrease, let's see, can I decrease the pressure here? No, I can't really decrease the pressure per se. Let's do this. Let's increase the volume. So let's make the volume go up. So if I make the volume go up, what's gonna to happen to the pressure? The pressure is going to go down because there's more space that the area the gas occupies, therefore less collisions. So the temperature, the speed is the same, but I this is like Boyle's law. So again, the volume went up, the pressure went down. So those two had to change because the N was the same, the R was the same, and the T was the same. So the NRT side did not change. So as the pressure went down, something had to cause that it's because the volume also changed okay so the volume went down so again take a look at the formula again so right here volume went up pressure went down this stayed the same so again volume went up pressure went down this stayed the same okay so far so good all right uh, i think you guys get the idea here um okay Let's go down to volume being constant and number of moles being constant. So let's take a look and see. So now let's hold a constant. So I'm gonna go, we're on step two. So let's see volume and N are constant. So obviously R is gonna be constant too. So we're gonna keep this the same, this the same, and this the same. This is gonna change and this is gonna change. So you gotta think, you should predict this. We'll, we'll demonstrate it. If volume, number of moles, and R is the same, what happens if I change the temperature? What if the temperature goes up? What will happen to the pressure? It will go up. What if I decrease the pressure? Then what will happen to the temperature of the gas? It will go down. So let's take a look and watch up here. So again, the formulas are your friends, once again. So this ideal gas law kind of brings it all together. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit reset. I'm gonna put in 300 particles. And I'm going to hold constant right now, volume. So if you notice when I just did that, this handle went away. Volume's fixed, can't mess with it, okay? So now, what I can do right here is I can manipulate the temperature, and as a result, the pressure will change. Does that make sense? So let's increase and take a look at your formula. PV equals NRT. So P is this, I'm sorry. PV equals NRT. V is the same. Volume is the same. Number of moles or number of molecules or number of particles in this case is the same. Uh, R is the same. So let's increase the temperature. What will happen? Significant change. So as the temperature went up, so did so the kinetic energy of the molecules, the velocity went up. So did the pressure. So this is like Gay-Lussac's law in action. But given that this is an ideal gas, we kept the volume the same. N is the same, R is the same. Again, we see that direct relationship between temperature and pressure going up. So when I hit stop share right here, all you've got to do, go back, ideal gas law page, right here. Volume was constant, so horizontal arrow here. Horizontal arrow, horizontal arrow. So as the temperature went up, so did the pressure. So if we decrease the temperature, and again, I'll show you that real quick. Decrease the temperature. Come on. Hit share. So I'm gonna decrease the temperature. Hold on, let me uh, hit play. I'm gonna cool it down. Heat flows warm to cool, doesn't wanna be a tool. So as we decrease the temperature, 
the heat goes from the container out, the velocity of the particle slows down, the temperature drops, and so does the pressure. Again, direct relationship. Again, that's really um, Gay-Lussac's law in action right there. Okay, so let's take a look at the paper. So as we see right here, we dropped the, the these three were the same. So if this value and this value must stay equal. If this drops, this has to drop equally. That's all this is. This is simple math. Again, it should make sense. And again, I know we did some of this Boyle's Law stuff back in September, but this goes back to you. And then this kinetic energy, velocity, and that's, it's so, it makes so much sense. Okay, so now, so we understand that. So again, it's, it's almost like 100 has to equal 100. Well, if on this side, you know, let's say I made this, I made this value go up, but it has to equal, like this has to change accordingly. What if this went up and this stayed the same? Well, this also has to go up. See, it, it all has to compensate. It's very simple. It's simple math. Okay, so let's take a look at temperature constant. So right here, I'm gonna make this constant. So if you notice right here, this is gonna be constant, guys. Look here, what law do you think we're gonna be working with now? Must be Boyle's law with the same number of quantity of gas particles, R value, which is constant. And if the temperature is constant, what am I with? Go PV, how perfect is that? So let's take a look here, up here. See how this all blends together. This is, hey, and you guys are gonna go ahead. So I'm gonna hit stop share, I'm gonna hit share screen here. So now we have 300 particles right here. And let's say I hold the temperature constant. So I can change the volume, we know what's gonna happen. I can't add ice or fire right here. <laughs> Bam. Figure you like that, okay. So if I decrease the volume, the space, temperature ain't gonna change, there's gonna be more collisions. And obviously cut that in half, this doubles. See how that works? It's an inverse relationship. As one goes down, the other one goes up. So watch this. Double this. Th well, I, I did perfectly double it, but you see how it pretty much halved itself right there. Okay, again, I don't have a certain amount here. Okay, so again, it's an inverse relationship. So obviously, if the temperature is constant, more space, less collisions, less space, more collisions. It's so simple. And again, using this great new formula, which you guys should now be familiar with, Take a look at it. If this is all constant, if this value must equal, again, fake number, 100 has to equal 100. Well, this ain't changing. So if this changes, if this goes down, this has to go up so we maintain that value. That's all it is. It's very simple. Okay, so now, so now we're gonna hold pressure constant, okay? And right here, I'm gonna put, hold pressure constant and we're gonna, you're gonna see a change in temperature. So let's play with this first. So oh, hold on, real quick, review. You guys should be good with up here. But down here, volume and number of moles constant. This is constant, this is constant. So as this went up, this went up. So as the speed goes up, more collisions goes up, Gay-Lussac's law. Here, if temperature is constant, here's Boyle's law right here. This value is fixed. So this value, these individual values have to change to maintain that same value with this side. So now we've got pressure constant. So now we got a change in temperature. So if this is constant, okay? So we've got a change in temperature. This is all constant and a change in volume? Oh, well then I'll be Hoover damned. Raise the roof, dog, I'm on TV. We've got Charles Law. So let's take a look. So I'm gonna hold pressure constant, okay. So let's go to here. So I'm gonna hit hold constant. Hold on, what did that just say? Hold on. So we're gonna show a change in temperature, okay. So I'm gonna hold pressure constant and the temperature can go up and down, no. Okay, so I'm gonna hold the pressure constant right here. But the volume, like up the change in volume, you're gonna see a change in volume right here because take a look. So you know, what this means here, hold pressure, but you're gonna see a change in volume. Hold pressure, you'll see a change in temperature. By me hitting this, right, that means the temperature, right, will go up or down as a result. I can't control that. So watch this. So I'm gonna increase the temperature, okay? So what's gonna to happen to the volume? Notice temperature goes up, the volume, whoop, there you go. Okay, so the volume also goes up. Does that make sense? Let me replay that again, hold on. 
temperature goes up. Oops, sorry. Temperature goes up. Volume goes up. Pressure is maintaining. But if you get, have it too far out, it can't maintain that pressure. There won't be enough collisions. Okay. So again, when we take a look at this, hit stop share. So all I did was change the temperature. Pressure was the same. Temperature went down, volume went down. So again, stop share, share screen again. So all this showed right here was same was N, horizontal arrow for N, horizontal arrow for R. Um, so overall horizontal arrow here, this maintained the pressure. So as the temperature went up, this went up. Because again, if PV equals 100, NRT has to equal 100. So if P over here is the same and N and R are the same, if this goes up, then this is going to have to go up. If this goes down, this is going to have to go down, assuming everything else is constant. Okay? So let's now do pressure constant, but a change in volume. So now we're going to hold pressure constant, and we're going to change the volume. All right, hold on. Let's hit stop share. So now pressure is constant, right? So now I'm going to change. Now the pressure is going to be constant. So we're going to. I'm going to change the volume now. So if the volume is going to change, let's see what happens. You guys should know. What do you think will happen? I'm going to cut this in half. Temperature went up. Pressure stayed the same here. Had to heat it up a bit to maintain that pressure. Temper to maintain that pressure. Temperature went up. See how that works. Reduce the volume. Temperature just changed right there. So again, smaller volume. Take a look at that temperature. Bigger volume, bigger temperature. Okay, see how that works right there. Again, pressure is the same, all right? And then right here again, we did the same thing here. Change the temperature. Volume goes up. So it's the same idea. I'm just using two different controls. Cool it down. Get over here. Volume decreases. Okay. All right. So when we take a look at the paper right here, Hold on, stop share. So right here. Pressure was constant, change in volume. So I, you know, I changed the volume right here. So as a result of this is going to be constant, the temperature also had to change. So these two are ultimately the same thing. Because keep in mind, I changed the temperature, the volume changed. So if this, this was constant in both cases, constant, constant. So up here, as the temperature went up, the volume went up. As the temperature went down, the volume went down. But I controlled the temperature. Down here, I controlled the volume as the volume went up. The temperature went up. As the volume went down, the temperature went down. Okay? All right. And that is it. Any questions? Shoot me an email. All right. Hopefully that helps. All right. Good job.